The president says he'll veto the latest attempt by Congress to push through the approval of the Keystone XL pipeline. But he hasn't yet committed to rejecting this dangerous proposal outright. He should decisively reject it now. He has all the information he needs. The proposed pipeline would connect the tar sands of Alberta, Canada with the shipping ports on the Gulf Coast. And it would run through much of the heartland of America. But the oil isn't really for Americans. Much of it is for export to places like China. So why does it matter? Because the costs and risks would be a disaster for our climate and for American communities along the pipeline route. First, extracting this type of thick, dirty, crude oil from the tar sands of Alberta would require huge amounts of energy and produce loads of carbon emissions. According to last month's report from the Environmental Protection Agency, developing and using this tar sands oil would cause a significant increase in greenhouse gas emissions, far more emissions than from conventional oil. And those emissions mean more droughts, bigger storms, and faster rising seas. Second, the pipeline would make it profitable to extract it and then send it to world markets through the Gulf of Mexico. It won't be going down there by rail. The State Department says rail transport will be too expensive when oil is less than $65 a barrel, and it's now around $51 per barrel. A pipeline leak anywhere along its route could cause grave damage. So-called Keystone Phase 1 sprung approximately 12 leaks in its first year, one of them spilling 500 barrels. What are the benefits? Big Oil, including the Koch brothers, who owned lots of oil land in Canada, argue the pipeline will create lots of construction jobs in America. Baloney. After one or two years building it, the State Department says the pipeline will require only about 50 people, primarily for maintenance. 50 jobs. If we want construction jobs, let's rebuild America's crumbling highways and bridges, not threaten the environment. Let's create jobs building clean energy rather than the dirtiest energy possible. Add up these costs and risks and compare them to the benefits, and this is a no-brainer. We need jobs and a safe climate, and the Keystone Pipeline gives us neither. The president should stop this pipeline for good and do it now.